Hey guys, this is Christian Green from Nature Heals Us. Today guys, I'm going to be doing a video on TDS readings, okay? So what I did was I went to Whole Food and I also went to Dollar Tree. And speaking of Dollar Tree, this is the water that I would buy at Dollar Tree that I used to drink about two years ago, Crystal Geyser. But anyhow, I went to Whole Food and Dollar Tree and I got these water, okay? And if you guys watched my previous video, I discussed with you why you should not drink spring water and why you should only consume distilled water. Now the purpose of this video is to basically show you the readings. The readings are measured in parts per million using a, using a TDS meter, which stands for Total Dissolved Solid. So this meter right here, which you can get on Amazon for $15, what it does is it basically measures the amount of things that we can't see with the naked eye that is dissolved in our spring water. Remember, if you watch my water, if you watch my video on the steel, on, on, uh, on water, okay, I've told you that when it comes to consuming water, there shouldn't be anything in your water. Your water should be absolutely pure. And the purest water is distilled water. And why is that? The reason why is because it has zero ppm. Sometimes it can have between one to four ppm, which is great, okay? Now, when you, when, if you have this TDS meter or when you do buy it, when you look at the back of your TDS meter, all right, it has a range, it has ranges, ranges value. It ranges from zero and above 500. Now, in the back of the TDS meter, if it reads anywhere between zero to 50, that basically means that the water is ideal drinking water. It could be RO, it could be DI, or it could be distilled water. Anything from 50 to 100 is carbon filter, MT, spring, and aquifers. Anything ranging from 100 to 200 is basically hard water. Anything from 200 to 300 is marginally acceptable. Now, from 300 to 500, high total dissolved solids from, from tap or mineral springs. Anything above 500, is, is, you should not be consuming. Should not, that water is dangerous. There's a lot of crap dissolved in that water. I'm, I'm not gonna do uh, all of this water. I'm trying to get you guys to understand the point that these spring waters contain and organic minerals and they have other things that are dissolving it that you can't see and the whole point of drinking water is to drink pure water our body needs pure water not not things that our cells uh, can't use we need things that our body can can uh, assimilate okay with that being said I want to keep this video as short as possible all right with that being said let's move on to the testing okay so what I got with me right here is I have distilled water and uh, I'm going to be using uh, this distilled water as my neutral base between all of these water. That's what I'm going to be doing, okay? Now, like I said, I'm not doing all of this. You guys can do this at home as well. Buy whatever spring water you want. Get yourself a TDS meter. Test it, all right? Whatever reading you get, look in the back of it. And, and you, you'll understand if it's bad or, or good for you. And then if it's higher than zero, you, you know, you should not be drinking that type of water for your body. Okay. I want you guys to watch my previous video on distilled water. I go in depth about why you should only consume distilled and not spring. So make sure to watch my water on distilled water. Make sure to watch my video on distilled water. Now, let's jump into it. We're going to jump into it right now. The first water that I'm gonna go with is uh, Crystal Geyser. This is the water that I was drinking, and a lot of people, a lot of people out there consume this water as well. It's really cheap. It's 99 cents. It's uh, it has a 7.2 pH, slightly alkaline. I mean, you can't go wrong with your money, and it's a gallon. So, so let me clean this cup real quick. I'm gonna use this as my neutral base. All right. Let's go. I think that was too much water, but that's fine. 
So now look, I got the TDS meter. I'm gonna open it, turn it on. It's at zero ppm, zero parts per million. Our objective is to figure out how much things is dissolved in this water. And what this TDS is gonna do is gonna read it in parts per million. Here we go. So I'm gonna dive in. Just hold it there for a few seconds. Okay. All right, here we go, that's enough. Let me hold it. So I have a reading of 190 parts per million. That's how much things dissolve in Crystal Geyser. Is it really benefiting us? I don't think, no it's not. It's, uh, it's making our body work a little bit more when it comes to detoxification because our body has to um, detox whatever is inside this water out of our system. So since I have a reading of 190, if I look at the back, right, Crystal Geyser falls between, oh, it's hard, it's hard water. It's hard water. It's between 100 to 200, which is hard water. So this water is not good. I, I, a lot of doctors say these people recommend to consume this water. Spring water, guys, is not good. You need to understand that there are two types of minerals. You have organic and you have inorganic. And organic minerals does not contain carbon. Carbon is the base of all life. Organic mineral is processed by the plants. When the plants process these minerals, our cells can then assimilate these minerals. Spring water does not have a, a water. Water that goes into the spring does not have that functionality where they can convert something that is a rock that comes from the ground into something that is living. Only plants, only plants. That's why the roots is in the ground because the roots picks up the minerals and they alter the chemistry of these uh, minerals into something that is living, which is bioavailable. And our body can then assimilate these minerals. Once our body is assimilated and we consume distilled water, distilled water does not leach it out. Whatever, whatever mineral is uh, integrated into your body, distilled water does not leach it out, okay? Now, so we have a reading of 190, okay? And that was Crystal Geyser. So I'm gonna throw this out. I'm gonna blow this. I'm gonna use this as my neutral base. Put this here. Okay, next water. I'm gonna do only two waters because I don't, I don't like to do long videos like that. But I just want to give you guys the the, uh, the idea, okay? So when you guys buy spring water, buy yourself a TDS, test your water, look at the back. If it's high, it's no good. If it's low, it's okay. Next water. The Mountain Valley Spring. A lot of people buy this water at Whole Food. Whole Food has this water all the time. And a lot of people is like, wow, this water is the best because it's in a glass bottle. So therefore, it doesn't leach anything as opposed to plastic, okay? So we, we're about to see how much crap is in, is in this water because it's spring water. Yeah, it's spring water <laughs> inside a glass bottle. So you would assume that, oh, even though it's like 2050 cents in a glass bottle, so therefore it's good because it's not going to leach anything because it's a glass bottle. Let's find out right now. Okay, so it's at zero ppm, which is what we want. Put it in the water. Hold it. It's 170, it's 176 parts per million. 176 ppm. Where does that fall? Where does this water fall? It falls between hard water. It's just like crystal geyser. But the only thing about it is in a glass. <laughs> it's in a glass, okay? Right, I'm gonna do one last water. One last water and that's it, okay? Let's do... Hmm, should we do Essentia? Let's do Essentia. Let's throw this water out. We're gonna do Essentia. Let me clean it with the steel water. Let's open up Essentia. 
Okay, boom. Right. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna blow this out. Shake it. Mm, okay. Okay, zero PPM. Let's go. Zero PPM. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, hold it. Okay, you know what? To my surprise, I I thought Sentia was kind of bad because it's a Sentia, but um, it, it has a low reading. It has forty eight parts per million, which is good water. So in, in our back, if we look in the back. Anything from zero to fifty is ideal drinking water. So therefore, Essentia water is way better than all of these water. I'm not gonna do these water because I already know that most of the readings for most of the readings and parts per million for these water. But essentially, I didn't do this. I just did this. To, I just I just did this now, and it's good. It's a good drinking water. However, the closer the closer we are to zero in parts per million, the better the water is. Okay. So, okay, guys. So I told you that was my last water. Now. The, the objective for this video was to give you an understanding about the things that are dissolved in water. When it comes to drinking water, right, our water should not have anything in it. If we want to get minerals, we should get minerals from either our plant, either from herbs, either from plant-based supplements, okay, or for some other, for some other source, okay. But our minerals doesn't have to come from water. You could get minerals from, like I said, uh, plant-based plant -based supplements. You could get it from your fruits and vegetables and you can get it from herbs. You don't have to get it from your water because remember, the minerals that are found in all spring waters are inorganic. They're dead. Our body can't use it. They're making us much more worse internally. What we need is bioavailable organic minerals. That's what we need. We need something that is bioavailable, which our body could immediately absorb into our system. And we get that from plant-based supplements. We get that from uh, herbs. And we get that from our fruits and vegetables, not from our water, okay? The steel water, is the ideal drinking water okay distilled water has zero it, 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 well many many distilled water have zero ppm they have one two three or four but those particular numbers are closer to zero now when i want you to think of it like this think of it like this right water helps to clean out your body um, water cleans out all of the positive uh, garbage in your system all of the heavy metals, all, all of the toxins, including the um, including pathogens, what all of them have in common is a positive charge. When you drink distilled water, it's a it's a it's a water with, with a lot of negative charge, and what what what's that doing into your system? It's basically it's picking up all of these plus 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 plus. Because when you have uh, a plus and a minus, what that basically does is it it creates attraction. Okay, so um, so with that being said, guys, I want you guys to focus on drinking distilled water. Distilled water helps with detoxifying your system. If you're suffering from whatever disease, herpes, uh, HIV, um, if you're suffering from wh whatever disease you're suffering from, drink distilled water. And for you guys out there that watch my videos on uh, on the green smoothie juice I, I made a mistake i made a mistake because i mean a lot of these dr Sabi's people were telling me this water was the best uh clearly dr Sabi did, didn't really go into depth about the minerals inside of water whether they were alive or whether they're dead now i don't want you to think i'm crazy i want you to do this research yourself just like i did okay do this research yourself just like i did and uh I just want to apologize for this water. So if you guys are drinking Crystal Geyser, just swap it out for distilled water. And um, even if you were drinking this water, it's not going to do that much 
damage on you on a cellular level might hinder the process just slightly but moving forward stick with the steel water uh thank you for watching nature heals us follow me on instagram chris underscore the healer uh you can follow me on facebook christian heals like this video share this video and remember spring water is not good to steel water the steel water is number one there's nothing in it okay uh, I'll see you soon guys. Take care and I'm out.